Ik had je. Alright, so as you can see, finding out how to make an OSA guide seems to be quite difficult. So the best thing I could do was, you know, simplify it so that you would be able to enjoy this character. Now, this is only the choices that are right that will make the character work as expected. This is not delving into the side path that you can go through. So use this guy if you want OSA to be a powerful mage and you don't want to skip his character or go into an average story, causing him to be weaker than expected. Okay, so to start with the guide, we go ahead and check out the glossary here, which explains how to read this guide. For example, green is the correct answer, the first to go for. Blue being a second answer that you have to go for afterwards or come back to, right? Then we have orange, which is the ability to go back to a previous choice. Kinda useless. We have also white, which is a very useless choice that we shouldn't even think about. I put it there just in case. Now we go here and we have the option number one, which is when we are not in the text adventure so we can choose whichever we want here check check or soulstone option two would be if we want to gain level one affinity on any god gain paramancy trick or gain meditation and we have option three which is being able to acquire la dance macabre or deciding on gaining curtain all right now we start with the guide itself this is exactly when it gets difficult so make sure to pay attention because stuff is gonna be kind of hard but i'll make sure to guide you through this Okay. First, examine main entrance. Second, check out the room in front of you. Then check out the wooden desk for a small key. Then we have run outside. After that, we have check out the stairway. Then we have check the side path. Then we have search the bookshelves. This gives a skin Bible selection of three gods for Grogoros, Rare, and Sylvian. Then you choose check the doorway. Then we have search the body for a tobacco, blue vial, prison keys, and we get into a combat. We ignore this fight and return to the foyer. We check the dark corridor, then we check the chest, and we use our small key to get two bear traps. Then we check the corridor or check the dark corridor. Then we check the gate at the end of the corridor. We need the prison keys, which we have. Take the stairs down, walk over the bridge, go to the corridor, check the small room. Here we check the weapon racks, and then we check the wooden desk. Then we return to the corridor. Now we head deeper into the darkness. After that, we lift up the cords and gain a rope. Now we go to the small door, we return to the upper floor chamber, we examine the contraption, and thus we need a rope. We have the rope, we check the campsite, we check out the tents and gain 5 matches and an ornament lantern. However, we should keep checking 30 more times to get a small things amulet. After all that, we go down the wooden platforms to be able to resume character creation. Then we have our last choice, which is option 4. Stocking up on medical goods for uh, 2 blue vials and 1 cloth fragment. We stock up on magical goods for 2 tobacco and 1 condensed lavender. And we stock up on food, which gives us 2 dried meat and 1 moldy bread. So anyways, this was the guide on how to simplify Osa's character. I made a Steam guide of this video, so make sure to check the link in the description.